Hi everyone, welcome back. So this is a quick clip that we're going to get into that was from a previous video. But as always, not financial advice for entertainment only. Do your own research and invest in following coins and companies. And let's get into the clip. So Bit Digital announces monthly production update for March. Here's the highlights of it. In March 2023, the company earned 119.4 Bitcoin. That's a 10% increase from the prior month. And they had, let's see here, 12,938 Bitcoin miners representing 1.25 exahash were actively hashing. And then tra treasure holdings of BTC were 724. And then Ethereum is 9,136.2. Let's see if there's anything else. Yep, the company had cash and cash equivalents of 27.9 million as of March 31st, 2023, which is great. But it would have been nice to see them also use that capital a little bit to buy miners that have really come down in price, especially like the S19s, uh, 122 terahash miners, or even the 110 terahash miners. Those have come down way in price. And with Bitcoin price being where they are right now, it's really good ROI and investment, I think. So it would have been nice, would have been nice to see them buying and growing their hash rate instead of holding cash, which is actually losing money for them right now because of inflation. Okay, so let's take a look at the numbers I have for them and we'll get into all the details here. So, BitDigital ha has 82.4 million shares outstanding. Their stock price is $1.47. Market cap is $121 million right now. And the current hash rate is 1.25 roughly. Future hash rate is going to be about 2.8, but I think a lot of those miners are going to be sold, exchanged, whatever you want to call it. They have a lot of older miners here that are the 63 terahash, uh, 59, which are already gone, I believe. But they still have a lot of these over here that I think are going to be possibly getting rid of and going forward if not already it looks like it looks like we got rid of most of them it looks like here we have a couple here just running to get them to the 2.5 uh, exahash okay production wise we can see here that they peaked in october of last year at 152 bitcoins um, then they went down to 144 130 134 up a little bit down again to 108 and now up to 119 uh, so they have been trajectory down a little bit here they're BTC per exahash efficiency peaked also in August, it looks like. And they've come down here quite a bit here since then. September was 104, October 112, November 104, December 105, and January 107, and then February 83, and then March is above average right now. It's a 95.47. The other miners that are operating for the full uh, month for every day, for the most part, are around 80-something. So something's off a little bit here. I can't figure it out why, and I'll show you guys in a little bit here what I mean. Okay, and, uh, let's take a look at the production here. So they made about 2.9, almost $3 million in revenue, which is good because they only made 2.5 in February. But here's the tricky part of it. And they reported 2.5 exahash here, or 1.25 exahash for March. I have all the miners that they had before. Actually, I took out these miners here because I had them at 1.3 is what I believe they reported at the end of February. So I took those miners out, got them back down to 1.25. So those were these miners here, the 63 terahash miners. And everything here is set to run 31 days. That didn't get me anywhere near where I needed to be. If I cut this out, I was only at 2.8. I needed to be at 2.99 roughly in revenue. The only way I could get there was to add actually $190,000 to their revenue here. And I don't know if it's just a calculation error on their part or I got something wrong here, but it seems like they made more Bitcoin unless they were really, really lucky with their production here that they actually made more than they should have. Okay, that's kind of what I'm trying to say, about $190,000 more than they should have on this. That's why their efficiency is way up there because it doesn't make sense. Everybody else that we've tracked so far this uh, week, past week, uh, for March production has come in within my numbers here. They're the only ones that the numbers for whatever reason don't work for them, okay? So that's what we happened with the numbers here on it. Uh, as far as institutions are concerned, we did have a little bit of an increase here. So 64 institutions from 63. Shares also went up a little bit uh, by 10,000 to 14.09 million compared to 14.08 and then percentage owned went up just a little bit as well 17.09 from 17.07 now the good thing is we have another rating it looks like on them from analysts so now we have two buy ratings from them compared to one the month prior and the price targets actually went up to three dollars for the high 250 for the average and two dollars for the low on them right now okay they do have a huddle position as well which is 724 bitcoins that's valued at roughly 20.4 million 
and they sold, it looks like, about 91 Bitcoins in the month of March for value of 2.2, almost 2.3 million uh, in proceeds from that. Now, based on my numbers here, this is kind of where I'm looking at them possibly being at. Um, I probably should dial them down a little bit because they're not growing that much. They've been kind of stuck here at uh, the 1.2 something, 1.3 exa hash. You can see here that their hash rate in September looks like October was the highest. No, nope, November was the highest. 1.377 is what they basically reported on that. And then since then, they've been kind of coming down here a little bit and going up and down. And so it's kind of hard to figure out where they are right now. But they have been stuck around this range for the past six months now, seven months roughly. Um, six months, seven months. So that's not good. They're not really growing. They don't have any news out that they're going to be growing even further as far as their exit hash is concerned. So we could possibly drop them down to a P of 10 potentially right now, which would get us to between $1.93 and $2.90. And that's based on the current quarter that we're in, which is an estimate, the fourth quarter, which is an estimate as well, because we haven't received their financial results yet. And then we're using the actual numbers for Q3 and Q2 for that to come up with approximately uh, 31.8 million in revenue for the last four quarters, or including this one. 50% uh, net income, working at, like I said, $1.93. 75% net income, working at $2.90. So that's kind of in line with where the analysts are looking at as well. And it's kind of where I would see them right now, unless we hear something good from them as far as growth wise. Okay, so let me know what you guys think of Bit Digital. Are you guys invested in them or not? Uh, and that's it. Otherwise, like I said, for all of these guys, they really need to grow, especially with the network hash rate increasing every single month, it seems like now. Okay, so that's it for that one.